Men's Club, I, I just got engaged, I just started a new career, and uh, the Monday night meetings were really a way for me to, to get away from all that hecticness, the wedding planning, and you know, have you know some good food and, and listen to the speakers and hang out with some great guys, free beer. You know what um, and that was really really my my break to, to take a breath and, and reset for the, the coming up month. And uh, I remember when we had speakers, they've all been great, but and typically after we have question and the answer sessions. And normally there's three, four questions, and then everyone gets back to eating and drinking and ice cream. Uh, but one of my first uh, meetings I went to, we had this uh, barbecue critic. And when it came for, for question and answers for this guy, literally half the audience had their hands up, asking about what the best cut of meat, or what's the best way to, to smoke a brisket, best uh, meat thermometer. And that was really the meeting where I realized, you know, these are some great guys. These are the guys that want to And that's really, really my favorite part of Men's Club is getting to know the, the, the men here and the, the type of men that come, come to Men's Club that makes this community. Um, Especially being on, on the younger side, uh, just got married, started my family. I want to surround myself with quality men that are going to push me to be the best husband, best leader, best father, eventually, that I can be. Uh, and you know, I can't always make it to every meeting, but I find myself uh, trying to plan my work schedule, my travel schedule around the first Monday in the, in the month because it's become so important to me to that personal growth and being surrounded by people that'll kind of keep your head focused on what's important with God and community and, and family. Um, and if I have one piece of advice, anyone that's, that's coming out thinking of being more uh, active or joining, uh, join a committee. Try and, try and get more involved. I think Wes and Dennis were great. One of my first meetings, they kind of pulled me into the, the uh, casino night planning. And that's really where I got to know some of the guys more deeply and see how selfless they are and how humble they are and what great leaders they are. And uh, I think it's, it's great to have a community around you that will always be there when you're down or up. And they've, a lot of you guys have been through what, I, what I'm going through now. Um, so it's getting life advice and career advice and everything. So uh, I can't say enough good things about this community and I'm just blessed to be a part of it. So yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Sort of, but when I realized immediately, this is not a joke. This is very serious. And what it's done for me, it really shows a group of men with super high integrity, men of faith, and it provides, really like you said, every month, one heck of an opportunity to mingle, shake hands, and it, it's really, it's dumbfounding. The amount of, and the, for the new people, the new members, the amount of money and community that we build, not just for the church and the school, but for the community as a whole. It's not just about St. Pascal's, it's about the whole Thousand Oaks, Ventura County. It, it's remarkable the reach that we have. Um, the other thing too is this, this really is what you get out of it. Like said, the more you put in, the more you get out. If you need guidance and faith, if you need guidance and family, if you want a place to go have a beer, and watch the game at a local bar, that's good enough. You can really do whatever you want. So it's, it's definitely, make it what you want. That's pretty unique to this kind of organization. The last thing is, for example, I, I have a big commute bend us too. We both go to LA for work. And so I'm often on time, not on time, don't show up, I'm late. All I do is get a handshake, a slap on the back, what's happening? There's no criticism. Come once a year if you can, but make sure you come at least once, okay? So, thank you. Thank you. So I love hearing these stories. Uh, I love hearing the perspective of guys that are new to the organization.